All right, that's number two. Let's look at number three here. This is what is the inverse of the function? Um, so it's, I give f of x equals, this is 2x minus 10. And close this guy here. Uh, 2x minus 10 here. And it says here, I'm going to find the inverse, right? So again, if I, I want to find what, uh, what f of negative 1, f of negative 1 of x here. And if I were to find the inverse, what I would simply do is I would change this to y. So f of x is now y, so 2x minus y. I'm going to have to swap the x and the y term. So this y would, x would become, sorry, this y would become x, and this x would become y here. So I have 2x, x equals 2y minus 10, and then I would basically use algebra to figure out what my new y here is, or what this y here is. Now, this is my new inverted here. So this is the inversion here. So again, uh, I would take, I would again add 10 to both sides. So I get x plus 10 here. I would get 2y um, like so. And then I would divide everything by 2 here. So I would get y would equal x, uh, x plus 10 divided by 2 here would give me y. So this here would be my solution for this problem. And as you can see, they wrote y equals x plus 10 divided by 2. This solution here is correct. Good analysis here.